Hi, my name is Lexi Nielsen, and this is my 20 time project on Adobe Photoshop. So here are eight steps for getting started with Adobe Photoshop. Step one is to purchase and download Adobe Photoshop. When you're doing this, make sure to get either an educator or a student discount, and you can download the program directly from the Adobe Photoshop website. Step two, use their video tutorials. Not only are they free, but they're better than the ones on YouTube. Don't get me wrong, I used a ton of YouTube tutorials, but we have to keep in mind that not everyone is a teacher, and sometimes it's better to just stick with the experts and learn from them. Step three is to use good quality photos. Don't take photos from Facebook or from your cell phone because they're just really not gonna turn out that good. I also learned very quickly that I didn't really like taking pictures of statues and trees, so take pictures of things you like. I like taking pictures of people and beautiful places. Step four, make sure you have a good computer, mouse, and a touchpad if you can. I got really frustrated during this project with how slow my computer was and how poorly my mouse worked. So um, I also read online that if you have access to a touchpad, it's really accurate and it's a great tool to work with. Step five, do as much research as possible. There is so much information out there on Photoshop, um, so I definitely recommend that you take the time to learn the basics, to practice those skills, and to take notes and save your research. That I really wish that I had spent more time building a stronger foundation with Adobe Photoshop. Step six, get inspired by other artists. Pinterest is amazing for this, but especially if you haven't worked with um, photography editing in the past, I definitely recommend to look at other people's work. Like Austin Kleon would say, steal like an artist. Step seven, do things that make you say, wow, that's cool. Definitely you wanna learn the basics in Photoshop, but there are so many incredible things that you can do with this program that I would definitely recommend for you to challenge yourself and make stuff that you're really proud of and excited to share with others. Step eight, don't stress. Photoshop is not easy, so take it slow. I definitely almost threw my computer out the window about a hundred times, but I was so glad that I stuck with it and kept working and I was proud of the work that I had at the end. So here are a few projects I made from, from the Photoshop techniques that I've learned. So enjoy. Overall, learning to use Adobe Photoshop was an awesome experience and I just loved having the, that chance to do such a cool 20 time project this semester. Thanks for watching.